future of Canadian immigration. In this video, we will be talking about the bright future of Canadian immigration, in spite of coronavirus-related obstructions. Many countries had a bumpy start to 2020, and Canada was no exception. Please support us. Press the subscribe button now, and hit the bell icon, to get the notification of our video updates. Did you know? You can help us bring you the best, up-to-date, and most reliable information from Immigration Refugees and Citizenship Canada by supporting us on Patreon.com with just £1 a month, link mentioned below. As early as March 2020, the Canadian government announced special orders, under the Quarantine Act, which immensely limited travel to and from Canada, permitting only Canadian citizens, and permanent residents, their immediate family members, and a very limited group of crucial workers to come to Canada. This expansion had an immediate negative effect, both on the individuals, who were anticipating to immigrate to Canada via express entry, and on the Canadian economy which is basically reliant on a stable arrival of skilled foreign labor. For most of 2020, coronavirus travel limitations forced immigration refugees and Citizenship Canada to restrict the pool of entitled express entry candidates to only those who were previously present in Canada. This prohibited many highly qualified migrants, who would have under normal conditions, been invited to apply for permanent residence. For many months, only candidates in the Canadian Experience class, or those with provincial nominations were allowed for the periodic draw, during which invitations to apply for permanent residence are allotted. The concerns of these extraordinary actions were far-stretching, forming a ripple effect in the Canadian economy, which subsequently struggled with scarcities of qualified labour. As limitations started to diminish toward the concluding part of 2020, on the other hand, the stance transformed radically. In the last two months of 2020, IRCC resurrected the pool to individuals qualifying through foreign skilled trades and foreign skilled worker categories. Furthermore, in an effort to reimburse the labor shortages these limitations had created, a substantial number of invitations were issued, 5,000 individuals were given invitations to apply for permanent residence in November 2020. In the draw that occurred on 9 December 2020, the minimum eligibility score was decreased to 469 points, which considerably increased the amount of immigrants able to qualify. Moreover, during the last quarter of 2020, Marco Mendocino, the Canadian Minister of Immigration stated plans to drastically upsurge immigration levels in 2021-2023 to aid the Canadian economy recuperate from the coronavirus pandemic, drive future evolution, and generate jobs for middle-class Canadians. In real numbers, these plans intend to increase immigration to about 1% of the country's population, which totals to 400,000 new permanent residents in the year 2021. It is predicted that 60% of all new permanent residents will come via economic streams. Even though we are currently perceiving an increase in coronavirus cases and a resulting contraction of travel limitations, with new rules such as the obligations to provide a negative COVID-19 test result, in addition to a thorough quarantine plan before traveling to Canada, there are virtuous motives to stay hopeful. Certainly, along with the promise to upsurge the numbers of new immigrants, IRCC is presently experiencing a hefty automation process. Even now, candidates are able to make most applications online, and there are strategies to further capitalize into capacity building, expansion, and digital revolution of Canada's immigration system. One such illustration is the newly built online portal, which allows new permanent residents to conclude their landing process much quicker and with no in-person interview. As Canada carries on to position itself as a top destination for international talent, automation is predicted to lessen waiting times and allow an easy immigration process for entitled individuals. 
In summary, apart from temporary hindrances formed by the coronavirus pandemic, the future for permanent residence candidates stays bright. Our video ends here. We hope you liked today's video update. Please comment below and share your thoughts with us. Thanks for watching today's video update.